I normally would say happy Tuesday, beautiful souls, wherever you are on this phenomenal planet, but we are now changing the script just a little bit. Welcome to Shift Your Thinking Daily, now available on IGTV, replay on radio podcasts and YouTube everywhere. If you're new to the show, Shift Your Thinking is where we transform our inner experience to a phenomenal outer experience for now 10 minutes of our day. We went from 13 minutes to 10 minutes to get it in on a daily basis. So welcome, 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 welcome. Drop your comments, say hi, say hello, tag, share, repost. Let somebody know what we're doing, personal transformation on a daily. We are now in episode 89 of Shift Your Thinking with Dean Del Sesto. Here it is, 200 ways to improve our lives. So you guessed it. If there are 200 ways in this book, we will be covering 200 ways in the segment of the overall series. So I'm excited to say today, Sunday, we are on episode 89. I'm in the section of the book, if you're following along, called Pretentiousness is a Full-Time Job. I'm going to caption episode 89. Stop with the foolishness. Keep it real. The author says, have you ever taken the time to evaluate your authenticity around other people? In the earlier years of my life, he says, I was lonely, emotionally inept, and as ego-driven as they come. He says, regardless of the circumstance, I always felt the need for validation and would sheepishly, very key word, sheepishly become whatever made the best impression for the situation or group of people I was with. Do you find yourself becoming a chameleon? Are you losing yourself trying to go with a certain flock of people and instead just being you it's less energy just being you let's continue he says keeping up my image was a full-time job until one day i realized that the energy aha i was using to protect my image and create facades big or small he says could be used to create more value in the lives of others and i'd also have more energy and focus to do many other great things This is exactly why I love Shifter Thinking, because it's authentically me. I'm an avid reader. One, I love reading books. I'm working all the time on personal development. And I'm inviting you into the, from the social media world, from the Wi-Fi ways to join in with me on that. So thank you, thank you, thank you to my family, friends, and those of you who are new to the Shifter Thinking tribe or support Ready Set Real Estate or Super Agent, whatever it is about me that's connecting and resonating with you. I love you and I appreciate you for rocking with me. I'll continue. He says, life took on a whole new meaning when I dropped the facades and just became me. Imagine how that works. He says, but even though we may have a, may have a handle on our image, we all live with facades from time to time. For some, it's often, and for others who are blessed to be at peace with themselves, it's rare, but it does creep in. He says, to compound the issue, there are the different circles of life we travel in, such as home, business, social circles, affinity groups, the gym, activity club, and many more. Imagine so many different hats we're wearing. He says, facades can show up at different levels of intensity in different areas of our life, and wearing our mask for too long is enough to drive anyone back to simply being real right because you feel exhausted and you say to yourself i can't do this anymore i can't do the i can't do the club i can't do the this and the the, 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 the third you know what i mean you can't why because it's you're over exerting yourself trying to chameleon and be something else rather just rock and be with you be who you are and what does that mean how do we do that lisa how do i how do i do that lisa in conjunction with being an avid reader i'm an avid journaler I'm writing, I'm expressing myself. Why? Because then I can see what are my what are my core values? What's important for me? What matters to me? Prioritize what matters to you. That's how you find that alignment and synergy because there's something about me that resonates with you. Albeit I'm ambitious, I'm consistent, uh, <clears throat> I'm very caring and uh, I'm committed to the community and giving back in, in various ways. And that might be something that's marrying with you, which is why we have the synergy. So CTA, you can imagine, is already going to have something to do to write it down. So we'll get back to that. He says, although deciding to be fully yourself, authentic and transparent, is a little scary at first, there is real terror in thinking you could live your life where no one around you knows who you really are, including you. I've been there, done that. 
I was living a double life for a very long time, for a good decade of my life. I was dealing with some, some challenges, trauma, tribulations behind closed doors. And then on the other side, I was this jovial and exciting person, very talented and creative, but no one knew the pain that I was carrying. It was, it was very exhausting doing that, living both lives. I was one way in my home life, another way in my business life where I felt depleted. I had to get back to my core. What matters to Lisa? What matters to Lisa? So I ask you, get back to your core. What matters to you? Let's continue. He says, the adjustment of just being you, quote unquote, just being you consistently and without reservation is a magnificent journey of truth that will reveal your good traits and your bad traits. He says, the good you get to flow with, the bad you get to work on. Either way, the true you becomes more grounded, more aware, and more at peace in life with every authentic moment. So CTA for today, make sure you uh, jump on a IGTV at LA Super Agent, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, radio podcast everywhere. <laughs> First, right? Let's stay connected. Thank you, thank you, thank you again for viewing, chiming in, tuning in, dropping your comments and saying hello wherever you are on this beautiful planet. For today, take the moment, take the moment, take the additional time because I still have some time left. I got 10 minutes here, but I still have less than three minutes right now, less than four minutes to just give you the CTA which is write it down, take the time and find out what is core for you. What is important for you? What do you value? Family, community, what type of work? Exercise, book clubs, investments, which types of investments? What matters to you? Find those core. Because guess what? Now when you're clear about that, the universe doesn't like void. So it's going to deliver that to you. Imagine having the universe conspiring to give you what you want. All right, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow on Shift Your Thinking, episode 90 on IGTV. Check us out there. All right, y'all.